there because once the, the, the set starts and the game is into it, mm -hmm. you're, you're playing against someone that absolutely wants to send you to the loser's bracket right away. So they're going to be on your head top. Those controls got to be on point. Make sure you guys do a button check if you can. Uh, absolutely. If you're oh, it wasn't a button oh, check? Oh, it wasn't a button check? Okay, well, I game promise one, you, guys. River's been doing a fantastic job. <laughs> game one. It. Game one. Uh, here we are. No button check. This is, this is the real deal. We're already starting off with uh, some percentage right now. Obviously, Lucario wants to beat. I feel I had to bet money. I thought we were going to see the Steve and Lucario. Mm -hmm. Things might change as we go along, and that's an amazing wow. counter off to the uh, micro. That's how you deal with it. That was a really impressive DI right there from Sora. I'm not going to front. Like, I, I thought he was definitely a goner. 100%. I died three times over. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I died up the walls right now. <laughs> of course, I'm going to see that a lot from Steve. Ooh. The Aura Sphere, again, gigantic. Connected. Good stuff. Oh, double edge. I think he had the right idea. It's like, I'm going to break your crafting box so you Ooh. can't build. And then it spawns right in front of him Ooh, like that. Ooh, Armadillo. What a really good start. Not going to kill just yet with that anvil. I could be wrong, but I do think the last time these two players have faced that Sword did come out with the win. But again, it's kind of like a back and forth thingy. So it's hard to say. Oh, just gets that straight up F smash to work out. And it's going to get the job done at that percent or, or not. 127 percent. It's a really tough start for Sora right now, I'm not going to lie to you. Absolutely. And this is what the kind of games like, this is what all Lucaros want to oh, happen right now. Man. This is the perfect situation. Two stocks above, a lot of ore to just rack on this damage and build it right back. Could be a three stock we see. Yeah, had the read right there, obviously, with that uh, minecart callout. But, I mean, the percent has just escalated since then. Gets that dash attack. This is a tough spot to be in if you're Sora. Another Ooh. one. 11 is sneaking in, always staying in his face, but always scary with his options right now. I thought he was going to see a counter on that minecart again. Could have taken a stock. Gets the back air. Going to take it out, get a bit more breathing room for Soar. But yeah. again, the damage may have been done. That shield was kind of low as it was. And if you're an armadillo, that's a lot of uh, extra credit to your name, if I do say so myself. It's some gold right now. The gold is not quite as strong as some of the other options, but it does have a, a quicker frame data. So for combos at this early percentage, could be all the more indeed, uh, beneficial. Indeed, indeed. All right. 133. Steve, however, is a character notorious for making crazy comebacks. That a diamond so insane. Never mind. Okay. A mistake gonna that. cost you. That's what we were talking about. Those mistakes. Maybe he needs a hand warmer. Really good uh, parry right there. And again, of course, Lucario is not at that scary percentage where these moves are going to kill, but he hasn't taken any damage himself either, so he's still holding his ground right now. Yeah, it's a weird spot to be in if you're Armadillo. It's like good, objectively good, but kind of you know, odd, you know? <laughs> you're not potent, you know? Well, of course, he's not going to let him hit him, but never mind the back air. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. That was a dom in the game. I thought we were actually even going to see a three stock come from Armadillo. I was going to say, like, you know, maybe the Steve matchup isn't so bad. You know, yeah. maybe, I don't know what people are complaining about. He made it look easy. <laughs> 100%, man. Had us all rethinking about our opinion on Steve. But honestly, he just kind of came out hot, came out the gates uh, running, if you will. And I feel like Sword just wasn't uh, ready with the speed at which Armadillo was playing. And, uh, and I guess the, uh, the execution was just there for him. So knowing Sora, be able to take a deep breath. We saw him counterpick a few times uh, you know, it, throughout this tournament in game two, gather himself you know, and come out on top. We'll see if he can do that again right now. <laughs> I actually love it too because it seemed like Armadillo definitely did his homework because you saw from the very get-go those first two stocks like every option that Steve threw out he had an idea for it you, know, you have a minecart I have a counter you have a build a wall I'm Boris here but I think he had an answer for everything he seems to be sticking with the Steve though yes sir I thought it would have maybe shake this confidence just enough to potentially go for a character switch but again uh, Steve has been doing phenomenally for him in recent memory so he's gonna stick to his guns absolutely all right and again, that's a uh, down, oh, that down tilt at the ledge. going to be rough for Armadillo as he does not really have a proper hitbox to really contest it. Already a much better start to the game for Soar as opposed to the last one. To be fair, we saw this last time, and this is like prime, uh, prime Lucario position to be in. That high percentage, and uh, well, anything's going to kill now. Uh, there it is. It's the anvil. This time, that is going to kill. And, you know, to have a stock league compared to how the first game went, no complaints here. Absolutely just laying off where you left off, essentially. All right, they're on the way. Gets the grab. This is where it starts. Ooh, able to narrowly escape that pressure on the corner. See, back throw off stage, of course. Yeah, I'm going to try. I love his mix-up at the ledge. He uses kind of like a B-reverse to cover the ledge up, so you kind of get hit by it and follows up with the back air. Mm. Didn't quite get it there, but wouldn't be spot to again. Tech chase. Ooh, 77 in a jiffy for Sword. Oh, big damage. And it continues, and he got a diamond in between, too. He's just absolutely setting up shop right now. Maybe the Enderman wasn't the answer, but it seems Zombie was the counter pick. Ooh, the, the snipe turned into Jason Bourne right there. Caught him with that. Good stuff.
That's the scary thing about that Aura Sphere, it's gigantic, so it's not even a question of getting around it, as it covers up so much space at these high percentages. But he does have diamonds, and it does not matter what percentage you're at right now, this definitely will get the kill. Whoa, wow, that was crazy. That's gonna be a hit right there for Sword Good, putting him in a very good position. <laughs> I got this Aura Sphere looking scary. It basically covers his easy, it's basically a house now. He can build houses too, just like in Minecraft. Hey, my man is out here, you know, masonry, man. <laughs> Wow, that was incredible, man. Building that little buffer of blocks, baiting, and then getting that F smash to connect. And now, okay, that looked like it could have been really scary, but... I said, he's not a fast follower that is susceptible to that as much as other characters are, but still gets, like, guys some damage off of it with the uh, diamonds, of course. And that's the thing. You, obviously, you want to kill Lucario as fast as possible. Obviously, easier said than done, but oh it's working goodness. out with that diamond. It was really good, man. This is a, this is a very, really crazy spot, considering the fact that, you know, Lucario... I was on that last stock. Oh, <laughs> that aura is building, and I mean... How do you deal with that, knowing that if you don't get him off soon, you might be in trouble? Scary times. Loses some of the diamond, but still going to keep it. Oh, Ooh, I thought it was going to be a slack. It looked like pretty clean conversion right there, but the hurt box shifting, it does that tonight. Oh, oh, my goodness. He was going for, he knew. This is some really good DI we're seeing from uh, Armadillo to avoid these hits, that parry. Are you serious? He actually broke his sword there. He doesn't have that as an option now to go for it. And again, that Aura Sphere, <laughs> also scary. This However, Aura Sphere doesn't seem to have an effect on the blocks. Doesn't lick the stock there, but he's very low in resources. Oh, man. Immaculate DI, but Armadillo was on the chase right there. Not letting Sword breathe. Good hit the stock. And if you've seen any Lucario game, you know what's at the table right here. You think it's a deficit, but no, this is exactly where Lucario wants to be. Oh, never yeah. mind. Oh, Lit. never mind. Does not have a strong enough tool to take the stock. And now he's like scary. That one's gonna do it. You know what? Down smash makes sense. Don't need any tools for that. It's just reliably strong all the time. Very clutch. Very clutch. And it, it was a really scary situation again, considering Lucario's mechanic in terms of how Aura works. That 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 really could have went south if he got a couple more hits. So Sor recognizing that I got this advantage state, you're off state. I will make the most out of it. Getting that game win very important. Ties up the set one one. And yeah, not to see, so not surprised to, to see any of this. Of course, I definitely expect this. If we're going to see a game five, it's Ooh, going here. Here we go. These kids keep it close. Yes, sir. Got that river fact up there, man. Armadillo has been in grands of two Battle of Z events. So. Yeah. Uh, He's going to try and make it three for three tonight. You know what I mean? You just never know. Absolutely. Armadillo has been in the scene for quite some time. It was really during the COVID era, I guess you can say, if that's a thing, uh, that he really leveled up his gameplay, played a lot of online matches, even got into the Smash World Tour. Yes. And then, of course, his biggest win was at the first Battle of Z, where he actually took a W over JW. Uh, excellent Ontario player, was regarded as one of the best for quite some time. So Shout that was really a Cinderella man. story, and he just has not looked back since. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right, game number three, inbound. Where are we going? All right, Hollow Bastion. I've been told that this stage is quite interesting for the materials. I'm not familiar with all the materials that Steve gets, but I know it's a weird stage for him. Some early percent coming out here for Armadillo. Nice little answer right there from Sora. Okay. I'm surprised right. he got away with that. I thought it was like going to be a yeah, yeah, unfortunate was, SD, but we don't have to see it, thankfully. I was, I was concerned there for a second. I ain't even going to lie. Okay. Oh, we'll had, I thought we were going to see a had the there. right idea by going high with that double jump, but a prop with the anvil. Yeah. I think maybe he expected like an air dodge onto stage there to cover that, but didn't give it to him. And he's adapted well to these minecarts at least. He's able to jump out of the minecart before the counter comes out, so he's not in a position where he'll get destroyed by it. Okay. It's going to be okay. The anvil just eating up that aura, but he gets Ooh. that back air on the chase. Excellent reaction right there from Armadillo, able to get the first stock of game three. How does he find these back airs? They always seem to land their mark when he needs them most. And again, I'm, I'm, I feel a like it's like air. crazy deep conditioning because, of course, Steve's, you know, usually love, like to go high with the minecart to recover and just get out of there, right? So, that's knowledge of the matchup, knowledge of the character, and, and, you know, of course, on top of conditioning is going to get you that back air more often than you might think. And Armadillo showing us exactly how to do it. So we're seeing this even pre-top eight, but both of these players are definitely some of the favorites to win this bracket. So it's tough to see what this could be the difference maker. This one set gets the up smash, gonna take out the stock. Again, you don't need the materials for that. It's just always reliably strong. Yeah, and it's also reasonably quick. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's about frame eight or something like that. So really quick up smash. You don't you don't expect to be in that fast sometimes. Yeah, it is a big block of lava. I definitely cannot feel good. All right, another back air. Again, making good use of the counter on the minecart. A lot of characters, unfortunately, have to let him get away with the minecart each time, but Armadillo is showing that, so Lucario has the tools to make it okay. not the case. All right. Fighting back right now is Sor. Even Looking stops. for an air dodge read, no, but goes for that high recovery instead. 
Right the Again, setting fly. up Oh man, Hermit, we keep seeing that back air in the same place and it's because, again, you know, Sora is trying to get some type of leverage just going high, whether it's with, the, you know, to build or do anything. His escape route has been mostly high. Armadillo's recognized that fact in full and is letting these back airs rip. Well, it's a lot of a lot of C's that like to just jump up and minecart somewhere else onto the stage, but he's not letting him do it for free. Not at all. And that's yeah. the thing too, sometimes you just have to respect the minecart and you're just like, oh well, my character can't do anything, I just kind of have to wait for it and gotta avoid let, it. Gotta, gotta but he's showing that Lucario can just throw out a back air, he can do oh. a counter. Alright, gets a back air of his own to connect, does soar. You know, we're talking about Steve here, you know, as crazy as the Lucario is, you know, last talk situation and all that, Steve, you know, sometimes can be just as much of a madman. <laughs> Uh oh. Up oh no. Oh, okay. I thought maybe he's gonna use the block to his own advantage with an upper potentially, well. but no, not gonna go for it. Use Setting up his own air, game plan. Yes, sir. Going high. Yeah. Oh, no. nice little angle right there from Sora. Okay. It doesn't really have the aura to work with right now. Oh no, oh, the forward smash will kill at any percentage, that's for sure. <laughs> Again, the DI of Armadillo in this set so far has been great to avoid certain setups, certain strings of Sores. And even though these trades are coming out, it's still going to benefit uh, Steve right now. He's just trying to close the gap between his percentage. Oh my god, that was scary. Uh. The pressure right now from these moves of Soar's Steve. Just so much scary times. I got these, these few hits. There's a couple axes coming out. They're landing their mark. And that TNT could be the difference maker. Oh, oh what? My, but the ad, but the oh shoot! Oh my it. goodness! What a setup to absolutely take that from the the grips of Armadillo. I mean, the TNT to kind of call you know to create the the concern and, and the hesitation, if you will, and then to go off and get that setup. That was beautiful, and to narrowly live before Armadillo died. I mean, God, that was beautiful from Sora. Immaculate play. Wow. See, I was want to think that Steve could have recovered from that, but it was still like a last That's ditch effort. Saying. And we saw that uh, Sora really like that. He popped off really hard. Oh for that. man, you gotta you gotta love those passionate pop offs, knowing that you you you, you pulled it off. And you know what looked like it could be a good two one lead in the favor of Armadillo is now in the favor of Sora, commanding position to be in the winner's semi side of the bracket if he can do that one more time and take another game. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's like hey, this is just to get into top eight, so it's a huge match to get into. I just still want to give some a uh, huge shout to Armadillo, who's definitely been doing his uh, homework on the Steve. We actually saw when he got up, he hit the TNT plate, but he actually air dodged in time not to get hit by it. But it's even more credit to Sora for even following up on that. Like he knew 100%. he was going to be able to avoid it. And the awareness is, is, is insane from these two players. Back to Hollow Bash at four game four. It, it honestly went pretty well for Armadillo for like 90% of the match, so I wouldn't be too, too worried. But we'll see if something changes. That's exactly it. Definitely was a question of the stage. He did phenomenally on it. It's just that last session, like, I don't know what Sora was drinking. Maybe some Red Bull, but he got that little extra energy to push through. All right. Mining away right now. Gets hit. An aura. <laughs> Again, no other character in the game can really just do that. Where they can just hang off stage for it as long as they feel like it. But of course, Sora going to benefit from that, making sure that his recovery on the stage is not going to be beat out by Armadillo. Yeah. All right, a dash attack into the back air. Again, yeah, not going to kill right now, but we see the Aura Sphere getting a little bit of size here. All right, letting it fly. Okay, able to live that. Oh, oh does it get the TNT? That's a really tricky tool. We started early on, but the lava going into the TNT for the air dodge is so free for him. Indeed. Oh, this time, it, ooh, okay. just barely. Wow, scary times. Which is good on a sword, part of Sword 2, because if that did not kill, it would have been a scary situation 100%. to come back to. And of course, Armadillo with all the pressure right now on his game uh, life right now. Okay, good dash attack to get that situation going. We'll see if he can take advantage of this uh, edge guard slash lead trap. Can he, though? Not quite. The pressure. And that's okay. the thing, too. I don't know what they were thinking, but they made Steve not only a fantastic zoner and uh, a trapper, but he also has some phenomenal frame data. So that up tilt on shield is very hard to get around for a lot of characters. It is, man. He gets that gold. It's, uh, some of his moves are even safer, man. It's, it's difficult to deal with for sure. Okay. That's good. Oh, wow. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Tying things up with that anvil. Very timely. But he's got a ton of iron on deck right now, so he can actually make a lot of use. Actually goes for the iron tool, for sure. Again, just a little cute little combo into the back air, looking very Falco-esque. <laughs> oh, actually had to use the yeah, had to use the Aura Sphere on the car because otherwise he was gonna get dragged off stage. Ooh, we saw some sparks there, not gonna kill just yet. Oh, oh the coverage, go? the coverage right now, sore. I was giving credit to the fact that the counter against the uh, minecart has been phenomenally working for him. Oh, but he actually had a plan now. Now the counter oh, play is coming out. Okay, a little bit too overzealous with that uh, 
attempt and he got died for it. And you know, it, it's good that he died for it for sword because my man had 150 or some percent. Oh, big damage coming out. Only 42%, but it's only a couple of hits and still doing a ton of damage. This is just pressure right now. My goodness, the combos from both guys. Very impressive stuff. I'm out of here. Yeah, going coast to coast, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I nah. really want to imagine that Sora was actually trying to land on that one platform he created, but unfortunately he slipped up a little bit and loses the stock for it. But again, does he stop? Absolutely not. 109%, but again, <laughs> the all too familiar situation. Armadillo on his last stock, but he has all the power he needs oh, to make it happen. man, that was a great way for Armadillo to get a little bit of damage off that. Aura is oh. on line. 109%. Scary, scary situation right now for Sora. He's got to be very careful. I said the, the percentage is going to lie to you right now. This is still anyone's game. Has the gold tools right now, not really the killing potency from it, but he's still mining, trying to get what he can to finish this stock off. Okay. Again, that back air snipe not quite there. That Aura Sphere going to put him in a good spot. Will he take advantage? Oh, that's what I was talking about before. The Aura Sphere trying to cover the ledge, but didn't get it. Gets the oh. forward smash, and that will be it. Soar puts himself into top eight. Absolutely phenomenal F smash right there from Soar to take the set. Beautiful stuff. Our armadillo was in it right up until the end. I mean, don't let the 3-1 game count fool you. That was a uh, hotly contested set overall. Got the Steve Chan's coming out. <laughs> Got some Steve Chan. Well, we know. Wow. <laughs> that was a really good set to watch. Beautiful stuff. Damn. Great, great Smash Brothers that's right huge. there. Man. I think gonna... that's probably one of the biggest matches that's going to happen in this yeah, tournament. Man. Just because I feel both of those kids are going to be the, the biggest dark horses oh, to man. potentially do phenomenally in this tournament. So We have another game. great winner's, uh, winners matchup set on the way.